Alright, hey, been around the movie club for quite a while, I think it's a wonderful idea, and uh, finally thought I, that I should start contributing, so I'm going to give my opinions on the movie The Thing, made back in 1982, and I hope to add more reviews in the future. So anyway, moving right to the action. The plot, I love how it starts with the action helicopter scene, and the mystery of like, why were they trying to kill the dog? Like, why were they trying so hard to kill this dog? Like, two snipers in a helicopter? A bit of an overkill like what did he eat like the last like beef jerky like I, I don't know though that also made me kind of wonder about the the americans in the base like why are you just adopting the dog out of hand why are you just saying oh yeah fine let's keep this dog that these two guys tried to kill like i don't know that was probably really critical in establishing the story and the story was amazing like the plot being established so early gave it great potential which it fulfilled but it just it really made me wonder, like, why go and check with the Norwegians first about why they were trying to kill this dog before you put it with the other dogs. Anyway, um, just, yeah, this is really good for the story. Um, one thing that bummed me out about, about the plot was how all of the characters die in the end. Um, which, as I, as I was thinking, it's probably a really good twist because that's unique. Not many movies have that. They usually do have it, so they're, like, a survivor. But I mean, oh, that just made me so sad. I They all worked so hard just to, you know, either get killed by the thing or get killed, like, as the thing or, you know, freeze to death. I just, oh, uh, I was like, oh, man, all these noble souls all dying for a great cause. Like, which I guess is, like, a hidden concept, I just realized, because, yeah, like, you're willing to sacrifice yourself for the greater good to defeat evil. So that was pretty epic. The SFX, for the time, phenomenal. Like, especially all the different forms of the thing itself like from the very beginning with the dog kennel scene and i feel bad for those dogs like you can just see the thought going through their head like hey we have a new friend and no what is this oh crap it's gonna try to kill us probably didn't think like that but <laughs> like that was what uh, came to mind when i was looking at it I was like oh those dogs must be scary um and then the torso that ate like bit his arm off i was like oh whoa that's really good for the back then and then the head with legs I, I just all of it was really good i thought the special effects were really really well done um the concepts i found the mass paranoia really relatable it was quite fascinating really makes you think like would i act like that in that case would like would i just sink into this i guess actually what's impressive is they didn't completely give in like they still had some rational thought they didn't just keep trying to kill each other which i'm sure you know would happen in some cases especially when you're um isolated up in the arctic during a storm when there's an alien trying to kill you it was actually very impressive um but it was just a really fascinating concept i've seen it before and it was presented really well and they set it up so you feel like you're there with them you almost feel like you're this like unnamed character and that's really good that's just a really good aspect for a movie to have um, the characters, really good acting, um, I thought overall, like, there were some flaws, but I thought it was really well done, they really portrayed these kind of, you know, researchers and teams, but, you know, put under extreme duress, and that was really impressive, especially, um, I knew Kurt Russell, he was the only one really that I knew by name, and I thought he did a really good job, and, uh, the doctor, the guy who played the doctor, he really well did how, you know, he got so paranoid and broke down. That was really impressive. It seemed really realistic. Though the one question I had was, was he the thing when he broke down? Like, was, or was he just like, you know, this guy that was really scared? Um, but I just found that really impressive. But again, I found it really sad when they all died. Because they all had worked so hard. And just to die. But again, I actually can forgive that. Because it really fed into the story. So conclusion... Overall, I recommend this movie. I'd say go watch it, preferably preferably with a group of people because A, you're not as scared, and B, you can all like enjoy it at the same time. But yeah, it's creative, it's active, it's cool, and uh, yeah, I hope uh, I hope you guys go out and watch it and really enjoy it. Thanks a lot for listening. Later.